Hi, this is Josh, your EdTech Spec, and this tutorial is going to help those of you who have just switched over from Outlook to Gmail to maybe make our Gmail inbox look a little bit more familiar. So here we are in a pretty standard Gmail configured uh, inbox. This is configured using the tabs that separates things into these broad categories. Um, with primary. However, if you have what I'm going to show you, even if you have, for example, you have it set up in the um, unread first um, configuration, what I'm going to show you works in, in all of those configurations. So let's quit messing around and let's go ahead and get started. So um, one of the first things we're going to do is this is the standard what's called a uh, display density. So it's it's got quite a bit of spacing. Um, and when we have attachments, we have these little preview bubbles. These are kind of cool because without opening the email, I can just um, click into it and get a preview of whatever it is that has been attached. Now, sometimes Outlook users find this um, too spread out or they don't like the little um, the attachment bubble. So we can click on our gear which is how we get into settings and we go into display density. We've got three choices. If we choose comfortable, it's the same amount of spread out, but instead of the attachment um, preview bubbles, we get these little paper clips on the side. So let's do that. So it feels like you can see more email all at once and you see there's a paper clip here, but there's no way to preview it to see that attachment. I have to um, get into the email itself. And then we have compact, which is, even more tightly packed together. I personally am not a fan of this, um, but again, this is one thing you can play with it and this would be one aspect that you can change, but this isn't really getting us too much back to um, the feel of Outlook. So um, a lot of times when people who I've helped transition from Outlook, they sort of miss their preview panel and you can have that in Gmail as well. We're gonna click into the gear again to go to settings. And then once our settings open up, we have many categories of settings in Gmail. I'm going to go to advanced here. And what we're looking at is preview pane. So here's preview pane. We're going to click enable. And then we're going to save. And any time uh, we use any of these advanced features, it's going to cause our Gmail to reload. So here we are with our, um, our preview panel or yeah, a preview pane. So I can click on any of these and you see I still have the little quick controls here. So I can, for example, mark that as unread if I want to, or I can come here and archive this. All that still works. When I click in here into display density, notice it's still compact. The reason these um, are, are thicker than when before we had the preview panel is because it's still got to show all that information. If we play with the display density, for example, we go back to default and see what effect it has. It does spread it out, but because we're using our preview panel, we, we don't really still have those bubbles. So you may notice that this control is here now um, if you've turned this feature on. So it allows us to toggle between. So when we turn off the preview pane, we get those back. If I change the display density back to, uh, whoops. If I change the display density back to compact, um, then it is what it is. And when I turn the preview pane back on, there you go. Now, if what you prefer is a horizontal split where you have all these on top, then you really are getting a pretty big chunk and then your preview is down below. And again, it will allow you to toggle back and forth between which one you want. I think most people prefer, prefer the vertical split. Now, here's the next thing is um, you'll notice here some of these have a number after uh, the participants in the conversation. So this is me, Josh, and Joshua. Um, in this case, me is, is edtech at alisol.org. But um, now what happens is when I click on this, all the emails in this conversation, starting with the first one and then scrolling down, these are all the responses in the order. So where in my messages list here, the most recent is at the top in a conversation thread, the most recent is at the bottom. And if I wanted to reply, I would scroll down to the bottom. 
So there's a couple of things Outlook users don't necessarily like about this. Sometimes they don't like that they're all grouped together, and sometimes they don't like they have to scroll all the way at the bottom to get there. Well, there's this, we're going to be able to address this in a couple of different ways. There's this control right here that even most uh, Gmail users don't pay attention to, and that's collapse all. And what it does is it sort of expands or collapses all of these down to just a little preview here, except for the last one, and it can get you on long conversation threads down to your controls pretty quickly. If you would prefer that the most recent one was at the top, kind of the way your messages are, well, we can do that too. If we come here and search Chrome Web Store, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a Chrome extension called Reverse Conversation. And what it does is if we add to Chrome and then we add extension and we get the acknowledgement right here that this has been added and close that, come back to our Gmail. This is going to require we reload the page the first time we use it, the first time we install the extension. And then when I click on this extension or this conversation, what you'll know, notice is the first one from 2.52 yesterday, one day ago, that's at the bottom. The most recent one is here. And now my reply, reply all and forward are up at the top. So if I were going to answer, thanks, thank you for helping. Then I click send. Now my conversation number goes to nine and my most current one is up here at the top, see zero minutes ago. Now, if you still just don't like that, if you still just don't like conversation view, um, then what you can do is come into settings and co click on the gear, go into settings and into the, under the general tab, a few down, you see conversation view. We can just turn that all the way off. Then we have to scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes, and you'll notice the inbox will reload again. And now, notice the Can We Get Buy-In is distinct emails, four distinct emails, and notice the one, they're all, they've each got their own line, and what you also notice is mine are no longer in here because mine, of course, are going to be in Sent Items. If I click into Sent Items, you can see my last one is here, and if I scroll down, I can see the whole thread with the lines of indentation showing it how we would expect it to be. Now, if you're saying like, Josh, I like this so far, but I really don't like these tabs and my inbox has tabs, we can come into the gear, click configure inbox, and then maybe take off whatever tabs we don't like. If we don't like any of them, we can do that. So that way all your emails, there's no primary social forums updates, it's just all coming into one place. Notice my unread emails popped up to 206, but you know that's the great thing about Gmail is that your, yours can be your way. Now, the last thing is sometimes Outlook users really wish they had like a calendar um, in with their email. So over here on the sidebar, you'll, you'll notice a few of these. If you don't have your sidebar, just look for an arrow down at the bottom and it should open. It should be open by default. When you click calendar, then yours may not look like this. Yours might actually look like this and just have today on it. And you'll notice that I don't have anything on the calendar for today. And I've got a few things I can do here. If I just click in and drag out an event, then I can add an event and it's saved to my calendar right there. However, if I clicking through one day at a time is a little clumsy, if I click back to today, and change it to schedule, then what I can do is see is just sort of have a scrolling list. Now I won't see hour by hour, but anything that's already in my calendars will appear there. And again, I can go to today. I can choose which of my calendars by going back into the three dots and clicking select calendars. For example, if I want to add the Ed Services calendar back into what I see, then I can go here. And now all the all that all that other stuff is there. And schedule view really lets you see quite a bit. You can create events down here, um, just the, the way we did before, and then close it when you decide you want more of your preview panel. When you want to go to your full calendar, you click on the little Rubik's Cube or the waffle, and then you just go to calendar there. So those are the best ways to get your Gmail inbox to feel kind of like it's your Outlook inbox. And I hope this is 
making your transition smoother and helps you work your way in Gmail so that you have the best time and absolutely the best experience in Gmail that you can possibly have. And remember, there's always more than one way to do it in Google. Happy Googling.